Hello and- oh hey, there's a save point na here now. Well, that would have been convenient before I ran away to the Ragnarok. Uh, hello! Welcome back to the DC Research Center. We just got paid! And we have Zell in our party. There's a reason for that. Oh, uh, no. I guess I'm climbing up then. Hmm. That's odd. Thought for sure I was going... Uh... What? Make up your mind, Squall. There we are. We are going down. So the reason I have Zell in my party is because there is an event down here that uh, we can only do with Zell. Basically, there's two different ways to go through the research center. One you can do no matter what, and one you can only do with Zell. Uh, take a guess at which route I am taking. Oh, that reminds me, actually. Okay, you have four free pages. You are almost completely full. You are actually fine. Hmm. Okay, so... You have a hundred. You have none. Reflect is actually good, though? Hmm. Let's see. I need to figure out my magic, but you know, you know what? We we should actually we should. Oh, I should heal. Hmm. Well, I was saying we should. Yeah, whatever. You're fine. Be fine uh, until we get out of this area, and then once we do that. Uh, oh, hey. By the way, I wonder what that is. You're right. What is that? What are you looking at? Oh, okay. I guess you're gonna walk over to it. There's a terminal buried under the rubble. Is it still functional? Level energy system. Reserve steam pressure at 20. Energy-wise, it is possible to reach the excavation site. Okay. Sure. Six level tower connecting to a ruin at the bottom of the ocean. Due to low energy, it is difficult to access a path to lower levels. Rotate lower levels by expanding energy units efficiently. Mm -hmm. Monitor display. Current reserve steam pressure, 20 blocks. Out of 20. Select energy, select a route. Depending on the energy amount, rooms connecting three to five will change. Do not forget to save an amount to use at the bottom level. Uh, it says that we are going to need ten at the bottom level. Just, just so you know. Mm-hmm. Reserve steam pressure 4 times 4 will be used to unlock the door to level 2. Okay, we have to use 4 to go to level 2. We have no choice in the matter! As it rotates the entire structure below us, seemingly, it certainly isn't rotating our floor since the we climbed down here on rubble. Uh, Zell. Zell? Zell? Fine, I didn't want to talk to you anyway. Uh, guys? No, don't reset. So, I cannot talk to anyone, and I cannot climb down. Uh, no, they came up with me. That is quite strange. Hmm. I think we have found a bug. Maybe. Let's see if they spread out again. Well, it still won't let me walk downstairs. That's a little frustrating. Fine, reset it.
Why won't you let me go down? What is going on here? What the heck is going on here? Uh, you can't actually reset it to this state, incidentally, if that wasn't obvious. But, um... I don't... I don't understand... Oh, there we are! I had to do it from the right angle, I guess. That was really not even remotely clear. By the way, there's some interesting monsters here. By which I mean monsters with good props. Uh, although... And also bombs. No, that Grendel there is actually a really good monster for getting stuff from. In theory. At least. Uh, Zell, mug the bomb. Squall, hit the dragon. Renoa, turn the bomb. Oh, okay, well, you've killed the bomb. If it's still alive, turn it into a card. No? How about now? I mean, it's over- no. It's too much overkill. Also, I think I can click the stop on it. I seem to recall putting that on Zell's, uh... Okay, I shouldn't mention this actually. I fixed up my junctioning a little bit between episodes. Reassign some spells. So you may have noticed that my max HP is through the freaking roof. Uh, that is because I have put full life on that. I also put Ultima on strength for both of these guys, but not for Renoa. She she has flare. Flare is enough. She doesn't need to hit things. She has magic. And also card. Okay, we want to use one on this floor to access floor three. Sector three. At least that's how it's written down on my book. I do also have move find on. Just something worth to point out, I think. We have made it! I guess it is- oh, hey. Uh, on this floor, we also want to use one unit. I guess we could use zero to go down. Hmm. Uh, but no, we want to use one movement, which will rotate the structure below us to... Level four, section... Well, you know what? Let's see if the section corresponds with what my book says. Once we get down there. Oh, hey! Is this a tryout? Flare. <laughs> Damn it, I really want paint. That's a, that, that's a problem, because it means I'm going to need to actually figure out my junctions while I'm in the deep sea research facility. Also, Skull appears to have been poisoned. Oh, and Renoa appears to have been confused. Hmm. Both of these are, uh... Okay, well, uh... Let's use an antidote on Squall. And let's use a... Mega Potion. With hell, I have tons of them, so... I suppose I will have to actually hate Renoa, but you know what, she has tons of life. Like, so- okay. Good thing you used a Mega Potion, I guess? Please stop that, Renoa. Before- before you kill someone. Oh, and now I've inflicted darkness on her? I didn't really consider that, I must have admit. But you know what, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so the reason I want pain is because it inflicts the, uh, Vitality None, I think. Maybe Meltdown inflicts the Vitality once. Regardless, 
it gives me a good status effect, which I, which unlike Meltdown, I can actually junction through my status attack. So I want pain. If I did not already have Zealous Ultimate Weapon, the Grendels in this area are a really good opportunity to get the missing components for his weapon as well. Like, that one monster at different levels drops, I think, every, maybe not every, but almost every component you need to make Zell's ultimate weapon. It drops some of the ones you need for squalls as well, actually. Like, one of them, anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I guess I should probably top up Squall. You know what, actually, I can, I've thought of a good way to confirm what Kane actually does. I'm just gonna cast it on this monster once I'm done drawing it. And then hopefully that will validate my decision. <laughs> The one downside to having tons of HP is that poison actually deals a lot of damage. As I am want to hang out on low um, on uh, low HP values for the limit breaking. It's become something of a habit. But is ordinarily not much of not really a big deal. Hmm. Maybe I can put off the magic curve. Like, surely Zell has a couple of free slots, right? That would let me put off the magic curve. That would be nice. Uh, are you done? Zell is done. Okay, let's try it. Okay, that inflicted darkness. At least. Not sure what else it did. Oh, curse spikes. That's really useful. At least I think it is. There was a time where it certainly was. It might not be useful anymore. <laughs> oh, I got auto haste and also some other things I don't really care about. Uh, you got spirit, right? I mean, may as well. Uh, auto haste though. Auto haste, auto haste. Mmm, that one. I, no, that one. Let's see. Pain, 100% poison, darkness, and silence. So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. And also renders several of the stages this things that Skull is holding redundant. Yes, excellent. Oh, also, it gives you immunity to curse as well. That's really useful. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Here's my quick fix for the magic. I'm going to give some of Skull's stuff to Zell. Like, float? No, he already has that. 
Um, how about... Aha! Zell does not have any elemental map. No, he has blizzard. He didn't have fire. Doesn't have thunder. Okay. That frees up at least a little bit of space, which is all I really need. I am probably going to purge a lot of this magic. Um, somewhat shortly? Because I have a lot of magic I don't need at this point, which is a particular issue with Renoa, where uh, it's actually better, now that I have her sorcery limit break, it's actually better for me to not have redundant spells on her. Like, uh, well... Hmm. Like float. Probably don't need float. <laughs> on her. I have it for like a, it's nice to have a little bit for like a niche situ scenario, but no, let's be real, I'm probably not going to need it again, and I certainly don't need three st whole stacks of it. Uh, but we will be worrying about that after we're done here. Now, I wanted to point out quickly before we go down, note this door. This door is important. If we did not have Zell, we would need to go into this door. The, the reason being, there is a thing behind that door, which would allow us to uh, rechar partially recharge our steam, which is necessary to reach the bottom if you do not have Zell. Oh hey, it's a six, so it is f floor six, section six rather. We're on floor four, and we're going to floor five. We want to use one. I get it. Now here we are on floor six. Hold a sec. Let me take care of this machine here. I don't know if you can. Well, Zell is pretty good with machinery. It's like his one, it is like his one and only good uh, feature. They call me the machine when it comes to machines. Leave it to me, baby. Hey, there's steam coming out everywhere. Yo, this is it. This has to be it, right? Squall's having second thoughts. I didn't want to have to resort to this, but... <laughs> that actually worked. So yeah, um, if you bring Zell to the sixth floor, you do not need to spend any steam to open that door. Normally it would cost 10 points. I think. Wait, no, sorry. Normally, that's actually wrong. Normally it would cost 4 points. <laughs> I misread my notes. The, we are still coming up to the part where we needed to burn 10. I think. Yeah, that's, that's still coming up. Uh, in the meantime, though, I think we will save. Also, before I save, I just want to point out this save point would be invisible were it not for... Uh, wait, no. Would it be invisible? No. You'd be able to see this one. The next save point will be invisible. Or it would be, except that I can see it because I have to find on. That's how it works. Ah, whatever. Turn it into a card, Renoa. Uh, wanna try that again? There we go.
Also, time to start on luck, I guess. But evasion! I don't have that junction. I do not know what is good for evasion. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of tens. You don't have it. Never mind then. Okay, well, 10% evasion is not terrible anyway. Uh, so we will save and uh, join me next time when we finish off the deep sea research facility. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy with Kiss Blue, and have a great day. Bye!